the Chief Justice of Nigeria has yesterday made a very beautiful uh, press statement at the Nigerian Judicial Institute charging the judiciary on the need to deliver just judgment, to deliver justice to the common man in Nigeria. That was indeed a very beautiful statement. A lot of Nigerians have come out in reaction to the statement of the Chief Justice of Nigeria to say and wish that the, state, the beautiful statement of the Chief Justice of Nigeria will translate into a just judgment, especially at the current presidential election petition tribunal, where Nigerian people are praying so hard that justice prevails. Listen to the rest of the news and continue to share it. Certainly, the judiciary is indeed the last hope of the common and the uncommon man. Therefore, we must all pull together as judicial officers to preserve the confidence reposed in us by the public. Good morning, my lords and distinguished participants. Can we please kindly take our seats? The CJN is around and he will soon come in. You're welcome. So, my Let's be civil and the president of the National Association of Women Judges Nigerian Chapter. My Lord, the Honorable Justice Peter Odili, yes, he retired in absentia, who is the immediate past president and ex officio of the National Association of Women Judges Nigerian Chapter. My Lord's heads of courts, the executive members of the National Association of Women Judges Nigerian Chapter, chairpersons, and paper presenters at this conference, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, It is with great delight that I stand before your Lordships to address you all this morning and declare your conference open for the 2023 Conference of the National Association of Women Judges in Nigeria. Conferences of this nature provide a platform for the women judges to interact and cross-fertilize ideas that will promote greater understanding and better resolution of legal issues facing women in general and those concerning women judges in Nigeria. This conference organized in collaboration with the National Judicial Institute is one with great promise of intellectual discourse and I'm hopeful for many more collaborations beyond capacity building as beautifully captured in the theme of this conference, the objective is to reinforce the capacity of the women judges in the judiciary who are fighter stakeholders in the fight against numerous injustices in the polity. It is safe to say that certain crises in our society have greater impact on women and the girl child, and this forum allows for discourse along these lines. I must mention the violent crimes against the female gender include sexual slavery and human trafficking, rape and female genital mutilation, which still persist despite efforts in eradicating sale. It is with this background in mind that your reputable association in collaboration with the NJI conceived the theme and topics for discussion at this conference, thereby bringing together experts and judges from across the country to deliberate and discuss issues which will reinforce the capacity of our judges, encourage the cooperation and collaboration among women judges in the fight against the violation of the fundamental rights of women, among many others. My lords, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, this conference affords stakeholders the opportunity to dialogue on current and emerging issues both locally and internationally as such this forum avails us the opportunity to discuss human trafficking in persons 
which has taken a new dimension in terms of trafficking in persons for the removal of organs, TPRO. This has become a canker one, which is gradually hitting deep into different spheres of our society. This is an issue which largely affects all, that is, women, men, and children, especially person of vulnerability in exploited, deceived, coerced, or abused for the illicit use of their organs. As such, the ongoing fight against human trafficking remains a task that all stakeholders must close ranks to tackle, as it is the desire of most Nigerians that this hydra-headed monster be caught. My lords, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, without preempting, the elder speakers later to present papers at this forum, it is pertinent to note that the theme of this year's conference, the woman judge in the 21st century, is apt. Considering the critical role of women judges today in guiding against discrimination against women and girls, and indeed bias the application of the laws and consequently ensure women's equal access to justice in our society. I am hopeful that the conference will equally provide a platform to engage stakeholders towards the successful implementation of proposed roadmaps to combat vices that largely affect the vulnerable women and girls in our society. My lords, I am also aware that this is an election year wherein your new executive council of National Association of Women Judges in Nigeria will be elected into office. I want to urge you all to ensure that you elect competent judges to drive the activities of this association in line with the rule of law and due process. I want to hear right now, specially congratulate our president, the Honorable Justice Binta M. Iyako, the new president of the International Association of Women Judges, and indeed all the members of the National Association of Women Judges for making us proud I have no doubt that your lawsuit will perform beyond expectations with the support of your colleagues. As women judges in the 21st century, I want to encourage you all to dispense justice as usual to all manner of persons without bias, affection, and ill will. Certainly, the judiciary is indeed the last hope of the common and the uncommon man. Therefore, we must all pull together as judicial officers to preserve the confidence reposed in us by the public. 